Mr. Swift here. After completing your truss drawing, the next thing you need to do is create an assembly for your entire truss bridge. So we're going to add a new element. We'll create an assembly. And the first part of the assembly I want to insert is going to be the bottom cord. I'm going to only insert one of those. I'm going to place it right here in the center. And I'm going to click OK for we're done inserting. Uh, and instead of treating all these as separate little pieces, what we'll do is we'll actually in, we'll actually group all of them together. So you can do that by selecting all of it and then you go up here to group and it kind of makes that whole cord one group instead of 30 different popsicle sticks. So I'm going to click OK on that grouping. Now that we have one cord in, we need to make another cord. So we're going to use the assembly linear pattern tool and we're going to select our uh, cord again. And so that selected all those parts at one big group. And now it wants to know what direction do we want to pattern that. So you click on the direction box here, and then you click on that face there, and that will pattern it out in a left-right instance. So I think our distance on this should be around 6, and we may fine-tune this step a little bit later on once we put our deck in. So I'm going to click OK, and then click OK again. So now we've got our cords, and they're exactly lined up, which is kind of nice. If we look from the top, they're lined up. If we look from the front, they're also lined up. After we've inserted our cords, we need to insert our deck. So I'm going to go up to the Insert button, Insert Deck, and I'm going to move the deck over here. And now what I want to do, I clicked OK saying that it was completed. So what I want to do now is select the deck and actually group the whole deck too, like we did earlier with our cords. So I want to grab the group and select the deck and then say OK. And we can even name that if we want. We can call it the deck group and click OK. So if you look over here, you can see that we've got our first grouping and we've got our second grouping. Now that we have those grouped, what we want to do is do a mate. And we're going to fasten the deck to our cords. So I'm going to click a um, the fasten mate and I'm going to turn my deck upside down and I'm going to zoom in on this corner. I'm going to click on that corner and then now I want to zoom out and move down onto the top of the cord and I want to pick that corner of the cord. So by doing that, I'm going to click OK. It's moved the deck exactly on top of our two cords. And here again you can see that our cord um, distance needs to be adjusted a little bit. So I'm going to go back through my steps to my linear pattern. We'll edit that and we'll make it a little bit less. Let's try, let's try 5.5 this time. And you can see it moved it exactly in. So now our deck is exactly lined up on our cord. If I do my isometric view, it's looking really good. Obviously the next thing we need to do is insert our truss. So I'm going to go down to insert parts, insert the truss, and I'm just going to um, kind of just generally place it because what we'll do is we'll actually use the fasten mate again for that. So after I've inserted it, click OK. Again, we're going to use the fasten mate tool. Click on that. I'm going to zoom out, look on the inside of our um, inside of our truss. I like this. Um, face right here in that corner. I'm going to fasten that and I want to fasten that corner over here onto the corner of our deck right there. So if I do that you can see that um, our truss is now fastened to our deck. Now the last step we need to do is do another linear pattern. We can click on our truss linear pattern tool and we're going to the direction we want to pattern that out. Obviously, I'm going to click on the direction and I'm going to click on this face and we'll change that direction over there. So we want to pattern that out. Let's try that 5.5 that we used earlier. Let's see how that did it. All right, so you can see the 5.5 wasn't quite far enough, so let's try um, 6. 6 isn't far enough. How about 6.5? 6.5 is still on the edge of it. Let's try 
75. There you go. So now we can see that that truss is exactly on the outside of that. I'm going to click OK on that, look at my isometric view of my truss, and that looks like a pretty good truss bridge. So we're going to now uh, rename this and call it our truss assembly. And that's that for that step. The next step will be to create a couple